Now, in this last part, part E, we've got to sketch an acceleration time graph for the motion of the car. This is quite an unusual question because if you look back through the past papers, there's not really been one like this for quite a number of years. And to start off, just make sure you've got your acceleration axis, vertical one here, labeled A, meters per second per second, and the horizontal one here, T for time in seconds. And I've drawn it directly underneath our speed time graph. You don't have to do that, but it might just help in illustrating what's going on here. So when it comes to the specific times, we've got them marked off here, but we found out earlier that T was 48 in part C. So directly under here, this value here is going to be a third of T, third of 48 is 16. And then 40 over 3, well, 4 thirds of 48 comes out at 64, so that's directly below there. And then if we add the further 6 seconds, that's going to bring us up to 70 seconds there. Now, over the first 16 seconds, what is the acceleration? Well, it's constant, and we worked out that it was 15 sixteenths, just a little under one unit. So what we've got here is we just mark that in as 15 sixteenths. And we could expect a straight line because it's constant acceleration. It's not changing, so it's always remaining at 15 sixteenths. OK, so that takes us up to the 16 seconds. And then when it got to 16 seconds, there was no acceleration because it was going at a constant speed. So we can illustrate that by putting that line on the axis here, going from 16 then to 64. And then it decelerated. We had negative acceleration. And they told us that that negative acceleration was minus 2.5 meters per second per second. So that value we'll just put down here, that would be minus 2.5. And what we need to do is a horizontal line directly below the 64 and going across to the 70. So that's essentially it. You could, if you wanted to, you could put a dotted line in here but certainly don't put a solid line in, OK? But you could put a dotted line or just leave it out, OK? It's up to you. But essentially, that's our acceleration time graph for the motion of the car. All right?